Hello, 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 hello. Greetings from our Lord Jesus Christ to everybody hearing my voice right now. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, if you are listening to me, whether you are a Christian or not, no matter what, if you are listening to me, I want to take this very, very short opportunity to advise somebody out there that we all know the season that we are in now. We all know the season that we are in now. And we all know whatever is going on right now. But we can't say much about what is going on because you know and I know that all that I'm trying to, to, to advise somebody or to advise myself as well is that we have to be very, very careful. The Bible says we should stand firm for the faith that we received from the beginning. We should stand firm and hold on to it very, very tightly. Because the time we are in now, if you are not careful, you will deny your Lord Jesus Christ. You will deny him before you know him. So if you are hearing my voice, if you are listening to me, um, Matthew chapter 10, Matthew chapter 10, verse 33, Jesus said, if you deny me in, in presence of men, I will deny you in the presence of my God. That is my father, his father, our God almighty. He will deny you before him. So if you are not careful, you will deny Jesus Christ before you know what you have done. I'm taking this very short opportunity to advise somebody out there that we have to be very careful. All that we are doing, we have to be very careful. We shouldn't just compromise what the world will bring. No. It's time for us to pray. Whatever is, is coming, whatever it will happen, whatever the, 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 the world will bring, please pray over it and ask God, we need the direction of our Lord Jesus Christ. We need his direction. Any action that we will take, anything that is coming, we need the direction of our Lord Jesus. On, if not so, you will deny him before you, you will know it. So if you are hearing my voice or if you are listening to me, Matthew chapter, Jesus said, it's like now the moment that we are in now, I see it like, um, uh, Jesus is going to separate the, the chaff from the wheat. That's what I, I see. That's what I see. Jesus Christ is going to separate the chaff from the wheat. If you read Matthew chapter 3 and you reach verse, uh, uh, verse 12, you will see that the time that we are in or the time that we are entering, that's what is going to happen. So from this time going, from this time going, please, be very, very vigilant. Be very, very careful. And watch out whatever you are doing. Watch out whatever you are compromising yourself. Whatever is coming, please watch out. Otherwise, you will fall before you realize you have already fallen. Jesus is always with us. He's always with us that you are going to be overcomer. That should be your motive. That no matter what is it, because Jesus Christ suffered on the cross for us. So if we are going to pass through suffering, why do we have to be afraid? We are not afraid. If you were a child of God, you would be afraid. We don't have to be afraid of anything. But we have to be bold. We have to stand firm. Revelation chapter, I think Revelation chapter 3 verse 5, I think. Revelation chapter 3 verse 5 says, those who will be a victorious are those who are going to stand for Christ. They will be victorious. And they will have the, the white clothes. They will clothe. God is going to clothe those people his white garment. So make up, make up your mind that you are going to be a victorious. That's it. You want to be a victorious. That's it. God bless you so much. I'm not talking so much if you receive this message it's a very short message but if you receive this message please forward it to your your your, your family or your friends let us hold on to each other hold my hand whilst i'm holding somebody's hand and let us move forward we are not going back we are not giving ourselves up but we will fight until we reach our goal god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you fight 
until you be a victorious in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you receive this message, it's a very short message, but if you receive this message, please forward it to your, 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 your family or your friends. Let us hold on to each other. Hold my hand whilst I'm holding somebody's hand and let us move forward. We are not going back. We are not giving ourselves up. But we will fight until we reach our goal. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Fight until you be a victorious in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.